This is the story of Ronica Monique Richburg, aged 32, who was cornered in the bathroom of her Avondale home and gunned down by a former boyfriend, Lloyd El Salvador Jones after she just secured a protective order against him few days prior to the deadly shooting. Lloyd fatally shot her, shot at her client, shot at her mom and her dad, right in the presence of their 4-year-old son and 13-year-old daughter. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. In Jefferson Parish tonight, authorities are investigating a homicide in Avondale, but authorities say it happened in the 100 block of Millie Drive. Based on this story, we will be traveling to Avondale, Louisiana. Avondale is a small city in Jefferson Parish, Louisiana. It is located on the west bank of the Mississippi. It is home to NOLA Motorsports Park and Tournament Players Club of Louisiana, which hosts the Zurich Classic of New Orleans. Ronica Richburg was born on September 7, 1987. Ronica was a lifelong resident of Jefferson Parish and graduated from East Jefferson High School. Ronica obtained an associate degree in medical billing and coding from Herzing University. She decided to be an entrepreneur so she founded Nola Braid Head, which she braided hair and did all things beauty related. Friends and family of Ronica saw her as a very humble, sweet and a wise young woman. Her life revolved around her children, in her eyes they were her lifeline and vice versa. Perfect! Ronica had been in a seven years off and on relationship with a man called Lloyd El Salvador Jones, age 42 before the tragic incident. They had their sweet moments, including two beautiful children ages 13 and 4, but a point in time she could not bear his controlling habits, she decided enough was enough. Lloyd was said to be extremely controlling, Ronica was said to have left him numerous times but went back to him later most likely due to the kids or due to the love she has for him. In the weeks before the tragic incident, Ronica accused Lloyd of stalking and violently harassing her, her family and her friends. She obtained a restraining order in which she reported that Lloyd repeatedly called her phone, shattered her windshield and had broken other properties. On this fateful evening, Lloyd stopped by the house to drop off his son. Lamar, Ronica's mother opened the door wide enough for the boy to slip in. But Lloyd forced his way through, demanding to see Ronica. Ronica as earlier said, a hairstylist, was inside the house with a client. Lamar's boyfriend, Daryl Stewart, 51, overheard the commotion and made his way to the living room. Upon sighting Daryl, Lloyd started shooting at him making him suffer gunshot injuries to his neck and both arms. Ronica immediately ran to hide in a bathroom, and her client dashed into a bedroom to take cover. Lloyd followed Ronica and fatally shot her before returning to the living room to finish off Daryl. Fortunately Daryl survived the ordeal even though he was shot multiple times. Lloyd then ran from the house and sped off in a dark-colored GMC pickup truck. In Jefferson Parish tonight authorities are investigating a homicide in Avondale, but authorities say it happened in the 100 block of Millie Drive. Uh, detectives say a woman was shot dead inside a home. Her father was shot in the arm and taken to a local hospital. Investigators are looking for a person of interest by the name of Lloyd jo Jones. He was last seen fleeing the scene in a dark colored GMC pickup truck. If anyone has any information on his whereabouts, please call the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office. Neither Lamar, her grandson or Ronica's client were injured. Doctors could not remove the bullet from Daryl's neck but he is expected to recover. Ronica's mother is still very upset about this whole event. She says she wants Lloyd to suffer. Kim Richburg spends every minute of every hour of every day thinking about her beloved daughter, Ronica Richburg. She was sweet and humble. She didn't bother nobody. She didn't get in no trouble. All she wanted to do was braid hair and take care of children. Ronika was a mother to a four-year-old boy and a 13-year-old girl. She was gunned down in her Avondale home in August. The suspect, deputies say, her ex-boyfriend, 42-year-old Lloyd Jones, 
Ronika's mother was there when the shooting happened. So I just opened the screen enough where he can let LJ in the um, in the screen door. On August 25th, Richburg said Jones came to drop off their four-year-old son, LJ, at their home on Millie Drive. She said he asked for Ronika several times, and after Richburg didn't let him in, she said he kicked the door open. He's now accused of shooting the victim's dad in the arm, who survived, and then shooting Ronika. looking in the bathroom, and my child laying on that floor. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard, y'all just don't know it's hard. It's hard. Deputies are still looking for Jones. They believe he left the area. Richburg prays every day he gets caught so they can get justice for her daughter. I wanted to suffer first. I wanted to suffer. This hurts so bad. I'm trying to keep it together, but it hurts. And Lloyd Jones is wanted for several charges, including first degree murder and attempted first degree murder. Deputies are working with federal law enforcement agencies, even in other states, to try to find him right now. There is a $5,000 reward for any information leading to his arrest and a conviction. You can call Crime Stoppers anonymously if you know anything at all. That number is 822 1111. Deputies are still looking for Lloyd. He's wanted for first degree murder, attempted first degree murder, home invasion obstruction of justice and violation of a protective order with a firearm. Well, new at five, it has been a year since Jefferson Parish mother was gunned down by her ex-boyfriend in Avondale. Renika Richburg was a mother to a four-year-old boy and a 13-year-old girl. JPSO says her ex-boyfriend Lloyd El Salvador Jones is accused of shooting and killing her inside of her home. Family members tell WDSU it's been a heartbreaking year of grief and anger as the search for the suspect continues one year later. Later. Tonight at 6, the family will gather at Providence Cemetery to remember Richburg. They're holding a balloon release in her honor. Ronica's friends and family celebrated her life in style as they let balloons into the heavens. Anyone with information on the whereabouts of Lloyd El Salvador Jones is asked to call the Sheriff's Office Investigations Bureau at 5043645300. Anyone with information can also anonymously call Crime Stoppers at 5048221111. There is a $5,000 reward for information that leads to an indictment. Our sincere condolences to the friends and family of Ronica Richburg. May Ronica's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her, and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay safe and see you guys in the next video.